I would love a card holder for Christmas, mom. So if you're watching this video, a nice card holder might, might do, because I, I don't carry cash ever. Hello, everybody. Welcome back for another video. Honestly, one of my favorite videos of all time to watch on YouTube has been what's in my bag videos. I am just so freaking nosy. I wanna know what people carry. I wanna know how much of a hoarder they are because me, my bag is a mess, always. And I alternate probably every other day with a bag, so I take everything from one bag and I put it into another bag and then into another bag and it's just like an endless cycle of just putting things into another bag. And it's just, I don't know, being a girl is so fun, duh. And I wanted to kind of give you guys a little rundown of what I keep in my favorite purse and I wear this bag all the time, especially in the fall and winter months and I love it. It's honestly an all year round bag, which is why I bought it, but I never thought that it would match so many of my outfits. Like I am shook. When I first bought it, I'm like, that's quite colorful. I don't know if that's it's gonna work and it works with so many things. So I'm excited to show you guys what's in here. I also wanted to say that today's video is sponsored by a very special company. Thank you so much Mugler for sponsoring today's video. We're gonna talk all about the new alien goddess perfume. You guys are going to freaking love it. I have been a Mugler fragrance junkie for a minute now and they decided to collaborate with me on this fragrance and I think you guys are going to obsess over it and I have been keeping it in my bag so I am so excited to talk to you guys about it today but without further ado don't forget to like comment share and subscribe follow me on Instagram so you guys can always keep updated on what I got going on and let's just get into the what's in my bag okay first I want to talk about the bag itself okay this is a Fendi baguette okay 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 give yourself a little attention girl this bag right here is actually a limited edition bag is what I was at least told it's a Sarah Coleman baguette. I bought it, I wanna say in 2021, and I am obsessed with this bag. I actually do not have a difficult time keeping it clean at all. It is like a canvassy material. The Fs are all warped, and it's actually quite large, guys. Like, it seems small, but it's large, and it also comes with another strap. I rarely ever use the shoulder strap. I usually just carry it like this, or you can put the baguette all the way up your arm because that's kind of like the Carrie Bradshaw way of course. So we're gonna get into what's inside this beautiful bag. I adore this bag. I think you guys will like it as well. I will link all the details of this bag down below. I don't know if you're gonna be able to find it because it is limited edition, but I'm sure there's somebody somewhere selling it if you really want it. But great investment piece. I try my best whenever I'm buying designer to buy investment pieces because you're spending a lot of money. You want it to appreciate over time, not depreciate like a car. So love it. So, I'm a lip gloss junkie, okay? I love lip gloss. I need to have it on me at all times. And this one is my favorite lip gloss of all time. It's the Fenty Beauty Heat, and I believe this is in the color Hot Sherry. So, this particular gloss I love because it's like a plumper, so it makes my lips tingle. It's very red, so I just do a little bit, and I love to wear this when I have like no makeup on. I don't know why, it makes my face look super like alive. Like I don't look like a dead person walking. That's why I love this so much, but it's a great gloss and it's super long lasting, which I love. Okay, and now we have today's sponsor, which is the mini version of the Alien Goddess perfume. You guys are going to love this fragrance. I have to spray it, guys. Like, I have to really get in the moment. And don't mind me, I overspray. Now, by the way, this does not smell anything like the original Alien that I own. I actually have that as well, and I really love the difference in the scent. This one is a more fresh and light. It has bergamot essence, jasmine grandiflorum, and bourbon vanilla. It is so good. It comes in the most beautiful bottle. I'm gonna obviously show you guys in a little clip of what the original bottle looks like, which is so stunning, but I like to keep the small one in my purse at all times because I love this fragrance. It is such a showstopper. Everybody loves it everywhere you go and it's extremely long lasting. Of course, it's a Mugler scent. Why wouldn't it be long lasting? The benefits of actually shopping on Mugler to pick up this perfume is that you guys get free bottle engravement. I have my bottle engraved with my name on it. I thought it was just so special. I'm like, this is so personalized. You get to do refills on the bottle. So when you're done with your perfume, they will refill it for you. And 
you guys are going to get 20% off using my creator code that I will put down in the description box for you guys because you are going to adore the scent. Mugler Alien Goddess is the most beautiful, light, perfect daytime scent. You guys are all going to love it. It's the most gorgeous, gold, pointy, awesome bottle. It fits in literally any purse, and you guys can obviously get the bigger one for your collection. I think you guys are going to adore it. So thank you so much, Mugler, for sponsoring today's video. I enjoy that fragrance thoroughly. Okay, next thing that I have, super random, is cuticle oil. So my nail tech actually gave me this cuticle oil, and it's so convenient. You just open it up and just rub it on your nails. And I love it because it just keeps my hands moisturized. It's definitely now a part of my routine. And I also like to put it on my toes as well. I have a separate one for my toes, but it's super nice. It has like infused like flowers or something in it. And I just think it's a really great oil overall. So I'm obsessed with this. Okay, this is actually empty, but always keep hand and sanitizer in your purse. Wanna make sure that your hands are clean. I gotta re-up on that, but that's a Bath and Body Works one. Then I have a Bassett because I am the queen of getting hurt. Anyone else, okay? Like, what is happening here? So this is for any cuts or open wounds. I like to keep this in my purse just in case something crazy happens. A lot of the times it's usually like a finger hazard. I'll get like a paper cut or my nail will like break in some spot and then I'll need this. So Bassett Trace into the freaking rescue, duh. Okay, I used to have these by my sink and I wasn't using them. So I have this new rule that when I park at Starbucks in the morning, because that's a part of my daily routine, that I take an affirmation card out and I read it to myself. So I'll read one right now to you guys. I forgive those who have harmed me in my past and peacefully detach from them. These affirmation cards are so cute. I don't remember who sent me these because I definitely didn't buy them, but I like to keep them in my purse. I've been really into any type of spiritual work, any type of healing, any type of just stuff that has nothing to do with the cell phone. If it doesn't have to do with the cell phone, I love it, okay? So affirmation cards for the win, obsessed. I really like these and I do them every single day. Of course I have my car keys in here. I drive a Range Rover Velar 2021. I love my car so much, it's my baby. I keep cheap pair of sunglasses in all of my purses because I have sunglasses with me at all times like in my car, but sometimes let's just say I decided I don't need them, I'm going out somewhere and then I realize, oh my God, where are my sunglasses? Or if I really just don't wanna be looking at people in the mall, I'll have these in my purse and boom. You can't see me, I can't see you as far as I'm concerned. Love sunglasses, always keep them in my purse. Probably should have a sunglass case, but that's why I keep my cheap ones because literally nothing happens to these and I've had these for literally like 100 years. So I don't mind tossing them around a little bit. Okay, next thing in my bag is a hair clip. Anyone like me and literally hate hair ties, they always get stuck in my hair. I don't know what it's about. I have all of the tangle free hair ties and for some reason they just always get stuck in my hair and I hate having my hair pulled super tight. So any type of claw clip, sign me up. This one's from Amazon, it came in like a big pack. I will obviously link it for you. Such a great clip. Then if I'm really stankin', which is very rare that I need to use this, but there are times where I'm rushing out the house and a girl needs deodorant. So we have the Salt Air Black Tide Natural Deodorant. I keep this in my purse because I do use aerosol spray deodorant at home, but I like to use natural deodorant when I'm on the go because it's just a little bit lighter, it's easier on my body, and it's literally for time crunches where I forgot to use deodorant. So I like to keep this in my bag just in case, just in case, just in case, because we're not about to be out here stinking. Like, no thank you, no thank you, no thank you. My favorite, favorite, favorite lip treatment that I keep with me everywhere is my Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Vanilla. I also have the pink one. I don't remember what flavor that is, but it's so gorgeous and I love that it leaves a little bit of a tint. But this one I like to keep. I find that this is better than chapstick. It keeps your lips moisturized for hours and you look like you have a gloss on, but you don't and it's more of an oil base. So if your hair like goes on it in the wind, it's not like a sticky feel, which I like for every day. Just a perfect like chapstick, of course. And I'll also, I keep my Fenty Beauty Fussy Lip Gloss, my favorite lip gloss. I wear it probably every single day. I'm wearing it right now. Obsessed with Fussy. Rihanna. Probably the best lip gloss ever in life. Then we have a hand cream, okay? The winter months are approaching. We need to make sure we don't have dry, cracked hands. This one is from L'Occitane en Provence. 
gorgeous hand cream. They actually literally just sent this to me. I normally will carry this one from Sol de Janeiro, but I wanted to switch it up because the L'Occitane and Provence one is a little bit smaller and it just can fit in smaller bags. But I love hand cream. I don't care which hand cream, just put it in my bag and we're good to go. Then I also have a nail filer. Um, the amount of times that my hair has gotten caught on my nails because I needed to just quickly, eat, it happens, okay? I do get my nails done, but occasionally a girl gets a little snaggle nail and then I have to, and I hate when I'm out in public and I touch my hair because if you guys have been watching my videos, you know I touch my hair. You know I am a hair toucher. So I like to just have this with me just in case and it does come in handy, surprisingly enough. Then we have this Belief Aqua Bomb Hydrating Multi-Stick. Super weird, I wear this on a fresh face. I like to make sure that my skin is hydrated, so let's just say I'm out and I forgot to put on moisturizer or I just wanted to re-moisturize to look healthy and happy. I like to have this because it's literally a stick, okay? It just, it's so simple. It's the easiest thing ever. What I should be carrying is a stick with SPF, but I usually put SPF on right when I wake up. I use the Fenty Beauty SPF, I love it. But this I like to just keep for hydration. Okay, this is teeth related. So I like to use these Power Swabs Stain Out Swab Sticks. These are easy for on the go. You literally put it on your teeth if you like feel like you maybe have a stain or something and you leave it on for a few minutes and then you rub it off and it's good to go. Like it's literally so simple and easy to have on your your purse or wherever you are at because you'll be able to just use this after dinner or something like that. I'm not like super self-conscious about my teeth, but let's just say I noticed that I had like a little bit of a stain situation going on after coffee. I like to just keep this on me. It just makes me feel a little bit more confident. And then I also like to have dental picks in my bag because you never know when you're gonna have food stuck in your teeth. I'm the queen of having food stuck in my teeth. I have like the perfect amount of healthy gaps in my teeth and that's why I always have food. So I'm like, ugh, are you kidding me? And I just pick it out and then this this little end piece is like, to me, a lifesaver. It's even more of a lifesaver than the floss itself. I always have a headache, always. I always have a headache. Excedrin is what does it for me. I like Advil, but Excedrin is, is better in my opinion. I, I really do like Excedrin a lot and it just, it's gonna do it for me. It's gonna do it for me. Normally what I'll do is I'll put these in a smaller container. I just haven't done it yet for this particular bag because I have one for each individual bag that I have. So I will create that, but I like to just carry like two or three of these on me at all times just in case I need them. I also carry TikTok. I don't really chew gum like at all. I like gum, but I don't chew it because I, I don't like the way it makes my jaw feel like after a while my jaw starts to hurt So I like to have Tic Tacs and these are the special ones. These are the coca-cola Tic Tacs. These are not for fresh breath This is more of like uh, I'm starving and I want to eat so I'm gonna have a Tic Tac. So good Love these they're just if I put you onto anything Tell me I put you onto these. I love to have a washcloth on me at all times, or not a washcloth, but I guess you can call it that. It's a cleansing washcloth. It's just a wipe. I want wipes, okay? Baby wipes, any type of wipe. I like these because they're individual wipes from the brand Fur. Fur is like one of my favorite brands for down there. Love it, love it, love it. And um, these are really nice. They're just easy, simple, soft, and you can take them with you if you need a little wiping situation for whatever reason to freshen up down there, or even if you have to, you know what I'm saying. A wipe. Hello. Always have wipes. And I forgot to put in here, I don't know where they are, but my AirPods. Um, hello, hi, I need my AirPods at all time. <laughs> no ifs, ands, or buts. And my credit cards. No, I do not have a wallet. I never did. I would love a card holder for Christmas, mom. So if you're watching this video, a nice card holder might might do because I, I don't carry cash ever. So that is what's in my bag. I really enjoyed making today's video. Let me know down below what you keep in your bag. I'm kind of a hot mess, okay? Like I'm not one of those super organized people that has like this, that, this, that, oh my God. Like no, like this is what I got guys. This is what I do. I guess you could say your phone goes in there too, but I never have my phone in my purse. I always have it in my hand. But but um, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Again, do not forget to pick up your Mugler Alien Goddess perfume and shine like a goddess. You guys are all going to love it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.